Uh, hi everyone. Uh, let me uh, now let me introduce the software part of our project. Um, so the biggest, uh, the best, uh, I mean, uh, the biggest big feature of our project is that uh, we can access uh, this uh, Arduino board uh, through internet, uh, actually through website. So, <coughs> um, so this is the whole structure of the software. Uh, first one is uh, internet. We can. Uh, go to the website and then control the Linux uh, chip. Uh, it was called uh, Linear uh, chip. So um, I actually set up a portal uh, website on this linear, uh, Linux uh, server, and then uh, uh, so this is based on Python, and then Python can control the serial port. And then through the serial port, I can send um, information to the Arduino chip. It was called Mega 32U4. So in the Arduino board, I also set up a serial port to receive and process the uh, um, information from the Linux server. And then it will send and uh, information to these registers and um, actually this is a middle register because it will also it will still send to the controller to control the valve and other things and it, it can be also sent to the LCD and they can receive the uh, button and sensors data and the whole structure in this whole structure, Linux is a master uh, device, and then the Arduino is slave, uh, totally slave uh, device. So now let me show you how to access the Arduino board through the website. Now I connect uh, my computer to the. Arduino Yun. Wait a moment. Now uh, you can see I have access to this website, and this website is based on Borto. It's a Python website structure. So this is refresh. And this is the upper threshold. I can type in a new threshold values and then submit. So you can see here in this LCD, uh, the upper threshold and lower threshold change as I um, as I type in. And then um, by click this auto menu button. I can also change the state uh, of this board uh, of the controller. So now I change to auto mode. So in the auto mode, uh, even I change the run and stop button, it cannot change the state. I can only um, control the so dampness to uh, control the. Uh, controller, so it is too high now. So I will change it lower, maybe maybe three hundred. So you can see here, if I if the soil dampness uh, threshold is uh, higher than three hundred, it will uh, close down because the dampness rate is too high. So if it's lower than 200, uh, this bulb will turn on to um, stream water into the soil, then um, the dampness will be higher. So if I change to manual mode, I can directly control this, this controller. And also actually I can change the state by click this button 
So now it's you can see here is uh, auto mode, and then menu mode. In the menu mode, I can click this this the second button to change on and off. And auto mode. So you can see. Okay.